Yeah, for sure. That's uh, that's a fun one. Another fun thing, the forecast for Mother's Day weekend. Yes. Looking nice. Well, I'm telling you, you are a favorite with the moms. Maybe not so with the golfers, but you're nailing it on Mother's Day. <laughs> yeah, Kent Spencer took tonight off in protest uh, for, for next week. <laughs> yeah, for here sure. comes next week. Uh, but it was a warm day for us today. We got up to 81 degrees, slightly above normal. Average high is now 76. Tomorrow, we're going to be running about 10 degrees cooler thanks to a north wind uh, bringing in a lot of that cooler air. As for our weather headlines, quiet for tonight, a much different story compared to just 24 hours ago. And next week, as Doug mentioned, is looking to be wet for us. Of course, we have the PGA Championships here for at Valhalla, so not something that we necessarily want if you're a big golf fan. As for our rain so far this month, 2.7 inches at least. We're running ahead of schedule there by about 1.2 inches, so that's a good thing. It's better to have a little bit of a surplus of rainfall than a deficit. However, we can also have too much of a good thing, as some of us have also been dealing with some flooding concerns. Here's a look at our regional satellite and radar. Lots of heavy rain falling in West Virginia and Pennsylvania tonight. Currently, no severe weather up there at least. We could maybe see a couple of sprinkles for some of our far southern Indiana counties, but otherwise I think it's going to be staying largely dry for us for tonight. Here's future cast. It shows clouds are going to be increasing again tonight, so we'll wake up tomorrow morning to mostly cloudy to partly cloudy cloudy skies. Our temperatures though are going to be fairly nice in the middle 50s, so we will be cooling off several more degrees here before things are all said and done. But with that north wind that I mentioned, our temperatures tomorrow are going to be lagging behind our average, which is again at 76 degrees. So we'll see ourselves only in the upper 60s to the low 70s across the area, maybe a sprinkle or two, but otherwise it is looking to be another partly sunny and dry day for us. Skies are going to try to clear out again for tomorrow night, but Saturday morning, maybe, maybe a sprinkle or two again, an isolated shower. Otherwise, it's going to be another fairly dry day. We should see much more sunshine in the afternoon. Fairly comfortable temperatures, though, still a few degrees below normal, only in the lower 70s for us. Now, here comes a Mother's Day, which is looking fantastic. We should have plenty of sunshine across the area. Our temperatures in the lower to middle 70s, so something to look forward to for mom. As for our rainfall tracker here, we're going to be be seeing largely dry until Monday of next week. Uh, that's when we're going to start to see those uh, practice rounds going on and a 30% chance for some showers then. But otherwise, tomorrow will be partly sunny and cooler. Highs only around 70 degrees for us, but still feeling very comfortable. And looking at the seven day forecast, our temperatures will be holding somewhat steady here through next week, actually, in the upper 70s, around 80 degrees. So running maybe a few degrees ahead of schedule. Uh, and our rain chances are also going to be starting to pick up, particularly on a Tuesday. We have a 60% chance there for some showers and maybe a couple of thunderstorms. Then we'll have to watch the middle of next week. I have 40% chances in there for right now, but some models are trying to dry things out just a little bit, but I still think some showers cannot be ruled out. So for now, we're going to leave those rain chances in there, but we'll let you know if that changes.